It's user-friendly. Choose something you like and press the button. Wow, isn't that great? I've been told this company is done by one person. You know, it's commercial. Everything always looks wonderful and the machine is easy to use. Whatever craze looks fantastic. I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna test it out. My boss might be upset, but this is what I do for you guys. Boom! So I'm gonna give you a guideline right off the bat if you're new here. So every time you make laser projects, you need to make a plan and break them down into chunks. For example, passing or picture designing, materials preparing, laser parameters testing, and the most important, laser engraving, cutting, and assembling. Then you're gonna have a customized laser gifts or decoration or the products if you run a small business. But you don't have to follow this order. For example, me, first thing I'm gonna do is to find that cabinet. Okay, I'm like Indiana Jones right now. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Just put stuff away. Um, so this is the cabinet, the original one we shot for the commercial before, and luckily we still keep it. And right now I'm gonna take this one to my room and renovate one more time. All right. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's just quite plain, not exciting enough, right? So maybe I can make it more excited. Does it make sense? Anyway, so I'm gonna measure up the size of each drawer. As you can see, they have like five drawers. Okay, let's jump into the pattern designing. Pattern designing. Yeah, that's a tough task. Just thinking about what pattern do I want to draw on the cabinet? I want something hand-painted style, like very artistic and colorful. Can also add some nature in it, like sunshine and landscape. You know, just makes us feel a little bit like full of life and hope. I think I know. Let's kick off the magic. I want to have a butterfly. Let's trace the image, just adjust all the parameters, make it more clear. This function is really useful. And there you go. So you're probably wondering why there's a butterfly and face on it. I was watching a video. Miley Cyrus told a story during the Grammy. It's about a little boy who wanted to catch a butterfly as a gift for his birthday, but he couldn't. But when he decided to let go, the butterfly lands right on his nose. So it's about the whole universe conspiracy thing. When you least expect it, things fall into places perfectly. So don't give up, but go easy on your obsessions. Okay, right now I'm gonna insert a sunrise picture. I love sunrise pictures so much. And next, we're gonna make them together. You can just drag this part to the top layer, then you can see it. And as we have five drawers, we wanna divide this picture into five pieces. How to do it? Let me show you. Just insert a rectangle, same size as your drawer, and select this rectangle on the image, and click Create Mask. And then you have it. But you probably noticed, the face is not divided. How to do it is different way. So we're gonna insert another rectangle, and we're gonna copy one more time. Make three of them together. As you can see, the butterfly is already inside, only the face. The face outline. So let's just select the face and the rectangle and choose the unite and overlap and adjust the layer to the top. And then you have it. Sometimes it's not that easy to trace the image, so you maybe just want to simply draw an image. How to do it? Let's insert a rectangle and then you can just make it a similar one. Choose the vector pane and make some points on the image and adjust every single point's angle to make it more curved, smooth. Done! This is what I designed for you guys. And now let's go to laser make them. Okay, I got all the materials ready, including different colors of paints, 3 mm thickness of plywood and different acrylic uh, because I'm gonna see which color is better for the butterfly and the face. And this P2, X2P2 white color laser machine. So 
So I'm gonna do the painting now and I found a very interesting place. This is the urban, it's very fancy and this is the rural, quite rough, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna do the painting on the top and the both sides and the back. Oh, did you hear the bird? Uh, but I'm gonna leave the drawers, the front for now as we're gonna put all the decorations onto it. Okay, let's do it. Alright, all the decoration pieces are here and we're gonna paint the landscape, I mean the plywood, but we're gonna keep the acrylic originally and we're gonna assemble them later on. You see, the process is pretty easy to follow. It is believable. And if I can do it, you can do it too. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to us. Before, after, and let us know how to like it down below. Yep, and I hope everyone will find your own butterfly. See you next time.